How's it going everyone? This is Brian and welcome back to the Tech Stack Playbook, your guide to apps, software, and tech in a fun way, I promise. Now, we are gonna be talking about GitHub. Yes, the number one place to be storing your code, updating your code, being able to manage version control, Git history. It is so, so, so helpful for developers. But often when you're starting, it can be really intimidating or very hard to understand how to use it. Specifically, one of the use cases that we're gonna be talking about in this specific video is how to send a project that you have locally, create a GitHub repo and then push that to the cloud. Now, a lot of times it's really easy, of course, to go into GitHub from the start, create your repository, bring that onto your computer, you know, operate it from the command line or something like that, or open it up in GitHub desktop. But how exactly do you get your project if it's already on your computer into GitHub. That's often one of the most requested things that I think I've uh, researched just over the past year. So I was like, oh, why don't I just make a video that will also help me always remember how to do it, but then also for a lot of other people that are researching this as well, they can then also understand how to do it and, and see the best practices. So I'm going to be uh, rolling the video next and hopefully this will be helpful for anyone that's looking to push projects to GitHub from their local repository in case you didn't do that from the beginning or maybe you forgot or something like that. I hope that this will be really helpful for anyone that really needs to then start with GitHub and then create projects or start from the project and then push it to GitHub. So of course your likes and support mean the world to me and I really do hope that you like this video and you absolutely destroy specifically that like button. I'll completely obliterate it for the YouTube algorithm. It helps the videos and also this channel. I mean, it's really, really, really helpful. And also if you're looking for more videos specifically around app development, software engineering, cloud, blockchain tech, please subscribe to the Tech Stack Playbook on my YouTube channel below and also click that bell notification so that you'll get notified when I go live and create other videos as well. So definitely I'm gonna roll the video next and hopefully that this video will give you a lot of value and help you on your coding projects and on your coding journey. All right, so hopefully you're able to see my screen and I'm going to actually move some of the windows around. Great. So hopefully you're able to see my screen. Now, what we have here is, of course, Visual Studio Code. We have a window for GitHub Desktop and also a link to GitHub, which is below or uh, behind that screen. So what GitHub Desktop is really great for is being able to have a list of all of your projects. I have this for my to-do app and I'm able to see all of the version control. I see that there's something that I can pull down. Um, there must be some code that was added to this and I'm able to pull that um, right to my code and it'll update it. And um, what we're gonna be going through actually is the documentation for GitHub. So GitHub has a really great list of resources in terms of documentation for how to work on projects. Um, and we're actually gonna be going through this list of code packages here. So I wanna take all of my code here and I wanna upload this to my repository in the cloud, except I haven't created it yet. So let's say that we, so I'm gonna actually delete this because I wanna show you guys how to actually do it from the base. So there's nothing actually in this repository. I just started it. So we're gonna delete this repository. and put in my password, I confirm that. Okay, cool. So actually I'm really gonna start from the way beginning. So what we wanna be able to do is take this code and upload it to GitHub. So I'm just going to move some compute components around. Okay, cool. So, right, so we have this app and it's running and everything, which is great. So what we wanna be able to do is go into our GitHub website and go to your repositories and we're gonna go new. So there's gonna be no template. We're gonna just say SoundCloud clone because this is what I want it to be able to have. So that's where we're gonna create that new repository. And we're just gonna click private and we're not gonna add a readme file. We're not gonna add a git ignore. We're gonna not add anything here. And that's because we have a lot of this stuff already set up in our uh, React application anyway. So we just don't wanna have any sort of confliction, like conflicting files here. So we're gonna create the repository and this should work totally fine. Boom, now we see that it's created. Now, what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna open up the terminal, which I have here. So if um, you're in VS Code, 
that's um, you know control and then the tilde button it's to the left of the one button so you can just toggle the terminal here and what we're going to be able to do is we're going to initialize a local directory for our git repository so we're going to do git init and then we're going to do and then main so we're going to initialize git and we're going to create this main uh, branch right here so we're going to click here so now we'll see that it's initialized an empty git repository inside of where my uh where my project is which is soundcloud now what we're going to be able to do is add the files to this local repository so we're still in here we're still in soundcloud clone so we'll do lo local add and then dot Oh, get. Yeah. Cool. So now we've added all of our local files to our repository. Now, what we want to be able to do is then commit these files to our specific repository that we're initializing. So we're going to do git commit and then main. And then we're going to do first commit. So again, we're going to commit these files that we've added onto main. And this is our first commit to GitHub from local. And this is just the name of the commit that we are calling. So now we see that there is a ton of things that were just created. So our git ignore file, our GraphQL file, our YAML file, our JSON file, README. There's all these amplify subfolder files. There's our, because we're using the AWS Amplify framework and there is some public files related to our html and our logo and also our app.js or app.css um, testing file we have a bunch of albums we have some assets and these are the, the songs that um that are in the local repository um, before they're added to the cloud in s3 so now what we want to be able to do so we've committed all of these things to this branch which is great but this is all local so how do we actually get this from our local repository into GitHub, the application? And I'll show you what I mean, because when you refresh this, there hasn't been any changes, right? This is all happening locally here. We want to be able to get this into our SoundCloud clone repository here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the URL from our repo, which is right here. So we're going to take that. I mean, you can copy it or just press, you know, control C or command C. And what you're going to do is we're going to say git remote add origin and we're going to drop that link right there. So what we're doing is adding, we're running git. We're going to say from remote, we're going to add to the origin of our repository this specific link. So again, we're linking the local to the origin, which is going to be in the cloud or in GitHub, which is there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to press enter. Now we've set the new remote. We're going to do git remote v. And now it is seeing. So I'm actually going to expand this out a little bit. So do you see how now it's saying the origin is here fetch and then the origin here push. So basically we're calling this GitHub repository and now we're pushing our code locally from the remote to GitHub in the cloud or wherever GitHub stores all of these files. I'd imagine it would be probably some on-premise server, but uh, I do not know. <laughs> but somewhere, somewhere in the GitHub interwebs is where all the code's going to be. It's gonna verify that these links check out and we'll see that this is literally the same as this GitHub repository link that we have right here. And now what we're going to do is actually push this. So we've initialized the connection and now we're going to do git push u and origin main. So this is where we're able to then take and push this connection locally to the origin main, which we've set as where the destination is that we want to go. Now, when we press enter, we're going to see some lines of code and it's gonna be enumerating the objects of which there's 67. It's gonna count all of these 100%, which is 67 of 67. We're gonna compress it into some threads and then we're gonna compress all of these things. It's gonna write all of the objects to GitHub. And there's again, there's 67, so that's where that comes up. 
and remote resolving delta is 100%, which is great. And it's gonna go again to this GitHub link, which is the one that we have for this repository. So now we'll see that it says new branch. The branch is set to main. So there's only one branch, which is main. It's just, we didn't have a branch for this. So that's why it's local. Now it's going to main and it's just setting main to main. And then the main is set to track the remote branch main from origin. So now uh, basically we've configured all of this connection points between our local repository and GitHub. So now when I refresh, we now see all of our code related to our local branch. So that's a really quick way to get your code into GitHub if you started working locally and then you're like, oh, I, I wanna add this to GitHub. So that's where you're able to add the local branch or the local work that you've done into a repository in GitHub. And let's say that we want to now get this into GitHub Desktop. So it shouldn't come up when we try to search for this in GitHub Desktop. So now it is in GitHub, but we're not gonna find it in GitHub Desktop. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add an existing repository. I'm go back and I wanna click this and I wanna see if we open this, if this will work. So now it should allow us to edit things. So I'm just gonna to try to say like, update uh august 22nd so i'm gonna save my readme file now it should come up like this and i am now going to say um, update readme. we're going to commit to main and now we're going to push Origin. And now what we should see is this changed in GitHub. Ah, sweet. So do you see how now we've added this link here? So, or this, this extra text. So now we've initialized this project, we've pushed it to GitHub, and now we have uh, an application where it can help us be making our commits a little bit easier. You can do all this stuff in the terminal. I just, I'm really bullish about GitHub Desktop or Git Kraken or any of these other applications that help to make the coding experience a little bit more visual as opposed to just being in the terminal. Although it's important to know how to work within the terminal as well. Like for this, this is so much easier than, um, you know, a process to, I don't know, maybe drag and drop this into GitHub and all this stuff. So um, I kind of like balancing between the terminal and the uh, GitHub Desktop and GitHub application. All right, so hopefully that was a helpful video and helped to frame up how you can get your project easily from your computer to GitHub. If you never did that from the beginning or maybe you forgot or just didn't do it yet, it's a really easy way to just get your project set up with version control, with Git, with GitHub, and being able to now start working from your project and maybe adding members to your team so that they can work on the project as well, as well as you helping to track the version control of when you add certain things, maybe you need to go back to a previous version, but GitHub makes it so easy to manage your project and also being able to track your code changes over time. And there's a ton of different features and enhancements that you can make to your project once it's connected to GitHub. Something specifically that comes to mind, for me at least, would be CI CD, so continuous integration and continuous deployment, being able to then create a framework where you can now build to the web and being able to upload a project and put that on the web so other people can interact or see your code or your application. So GitHub is a great way where you can go and do this and they have a lot of great integrations with different servers or different providers that can help you host your website or your application. But GitHub is hands down one of the most important topics in terms of managing your project and one of the amazing tools that developers have at their disposal. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Again, feel free to completely obliterate that like button to support this channel for the YouTube algorithm and also feel free to subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification so that you'll get notified when I go live next or share another video. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Tech Stack Playbook and I will see you all next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.